Hi everyone, I am Dr. Saundara Raj. I am happy to interact with you through this video. In this video, I am going to explain the accounting treatment for the preparation of cash flow statement under indirect method as per accounting standard 3. These are all a few details about me. These three subjects are my area of specialization in teaching and research. After you watch the full video, if you find the video beneficial to you, give a like to the video and do subscribe my channel so that you will get the updates of the new videos that I will be releasing on commerce and management subjects. Let's look at the problem. From the following balance sheets of uh, Mr. William, prepare a cash flow statement. You are given with the details for uh, two consecutive periods, year 2002 and year 2003. So 2003 is the current year according to this problem. You are given with the items in liabilities like capital. You find increase in the value of capital. But be careful, this is a problem related to a sole proprietary concern. So you might require to open a separate ledger account for capital. Sunday creditor is a current liability. Mrs. Williams loan is a non-current liability. Loan from bank is also a non-current liability. With regard to Mrs. Williams loan, you find decrease in its value. In the opening, it was 1 lakh rupees. But at the end, it is nil. That means it has been repaid to Mrs. William. Repayment of a non-current liability will come under financing activities as cash outflow. Loan from bank from 1,60,000, it is increased to 2 lakh rupees. So we have additionally borrowed 40,000 rupees from the bank. This is an inflow under financing activity. It will appear in cash flow statement. Land and building is a non-current asset. If it is required, we will open a ledger account. Plant and machinery is also a non-current asset. For this also, if there is a requirement, we will open a ledger account. Then the next one is about stock, which is a current asset. The other one is sundry debtors, that is also a current asset. We will consider the changes in the balances of stock and sundry debtors and do required adjustment with the operating profit before working capital changes. The opening balance of cash is 40,000 and the closing balance is 28,000. See, we are preparing cash flow statement fundamentally to know the reasons for having the difference in the cash balance. How the 40,000 rupees of opening balance has become 28,000 rupees at the end of the current year. That is the idea behind the preparation of a cash flow statement. Let's look at the additional information. A machine costing 40,000 rupees accumulated depreciation thereon 12,000 was sold for 20,000. Therefore, a machine with a cost value of 40,000, what is the accumulated depreciation on that particular part of the machinery sold 12,000. So from 40,000 cost value, if you subtract the accumulated depreciation 12,000, you get the book value of 28,000, but it is sold only for 20,000. Therefore, this particular business has incurred a loss of 8,000 rupees in disposing a part of the machinery. This 20,000 rupees, the sale proceeds from machinery will be taken over to investing activities as cash inflow. The provision for depreciation on 31-12-2002, that is the previous year, was 1 lakh rupees and on 31-12-2003, it is 1 lakh 60,000. This is a closing balance of a provision for depreciation. We will open a separate ledger account for provision for depreciation on machinery. The net profit for the year 2003 was 1,80,000. So the, this is what the information given to us in the problem. We will look at the ledger accounts one by one. First, we will look at the provision for depreciation on machinery account. This is being a credit balance. The opening value of provision for depreciation account is written in the credit side. Closing is written in the opposite side, that is debit side. We were informed that the accumulated depreciation on the part of the machinery sold was 12,000 rupees. What is the journal entry for this? Provision for depreciation account debtor to plant and machinery. When you debit provision for depreciation, its balance will come down. It is basically a credit balance account. If you debit that account, automatically the credit balance will come down. And that is the idea behind this journal. What is the journal we have posted in this ledger? Provision for depreciation account debtor to plant and machinery account. Fine. Now, let's come to know the balancing figure. How the balancing figure is arrived at? See, listen to me. 
the opening was 1 lakh rupees we have removed 12000 rupees which is nothing but accumulated depreciation on the machinery sold if you remove that 12000 rupees from 1 lakh the closing is expected to be 88000 but what is the actual closing it is 1 lakh 60000 therefore new provision for depreciation is provided in the pnl account this year and that has come to this account and the difference between 1 lakh 60000 and 88000 which is nothing but 72000 rupees that is a current year provision for depreciation the journal entry is what profit and loss account debtor to provision for depreciation account so this is what you learn by preparing provision for depreciation ledger account now let's move to the plant and machinery account. Plant and machinery account is prepared at cost value. The opening balance of uh, plant and machinery is written in the debit side. How it is written? The book value plus the opening balance of provision for depreciation on plant and machinery. Both are added and they have calculated the total of 4,20,000 rupees. This is what opening cost value of plant and machinery written in the debit side. Why? Plant and machinery is an asset. Asset is of debit balance. That is why the opening balance is written in the debit side. Obviously, closing balance is written in the credit side. The same procedure is followed. Along with the closing book value of plant and machinery, the closing balance of provision for depreciation is also added to calculate 3,80,000 rupees, which is the closing cost value of plant and machinery. Now, we were informed that a machinery costing 40,000 rupees, accumulated depreciation thereon was 12,000 rupees, sold for 20,000 rupees. What is the journal for this particular transaction? We have a combined journal, cash account debtor. This is for the sale value, 20,000. Accumulated depreciation account debtor, 12,000. This is for removing the accumulated depreciation on the fixed asset or non-current asset sold. Leave one line. Then you write two plant and machinery 40,000. In the one line of the debit, you find the balancing figure of 8,000 rupees, which is nothing but loss on sale of machinery. So you write PNL account debtor 8,000 rupees. That is a balancing figure in the journal entry itself. Do the posting of the journal in this ledger. Part of this particular journal entry is posted in provision for depreciation also. This is the second part. Accumulated depreciation or provision for depreciation on plant and machinery account at 12,000 to plant and machinery. That particular part is alone posted in provision for depreciation on plant and machinery account. And now we make an attempt to calculate what is the missing figure with regard to capital. This is being a sole proprietary concern. It is always good to prepare this particular statement to find out the amount of drawing or additional capital introduced if any. Opening capital given in the problem is 5 lakh. Along with that, you add the net profit which is given in the additional information amounted 1,80,000. So it comes to 6,80,000. From that figure, you deduct the closing capital so that you find out the missing figure of 68,000 which could be assumed to be drawing made by the proprietor. This drawing is cash outflow. So that would be recorded under cash flow from financing activities. Now let's uh, look at the last one. What is this cash flow statement of Mr. William for the year ended on 31-12-2003 as per revised accounting standard 3 following indirect method. Cash flows from operating activities as a net profit given in the problem, this is a net profit before tax and extraordinary items according to this problem, 1,80,000 rupees. Along with that, we do adjustments for the non-operating and non-cash items. And we found provision for depreciation on plant and machinery made in the current year is amounted 72,000 and that is recorded here. It is added. Loss on sale of machinery, 8,000 rupees is also recorded here. And we have calculated the operating profit before working capital changes come to 2,60,000 rupees. With that, we do adjustment for changes in the current assets and current liabilities. We find decrease in stock. Please try to recollect the four formulae I have discussed with you in the other video as well. What are the four formulae related to the adjustment for changes in current assets and current liabilities with the operating profit before working capital. One, increase in current asset leads to cash outflow. 
whereas decrease in current asset leads to cash inflow that is what the decrease in current asset 40000 is cash inflow then regarding current liabilities increase in current liability is cash inflow decrease in current liability is cash outflow i have very clearly explained the reasons for these four formulae and if you want to know more on these four formulae kindly watch the other video the link for the same video is given in the description and please do watch and learn more on the four formulae so this is consider here increase in sundry debtors as per the formulae this is cash outflow changes in these three items of current assets and current liabilities are done here and finally they have calculated 236000 rupees which is nothing but net cash from operating activities or you can say cash flow from operating activities or you can say cash generated from operating activities either way you can write then the second category of cash flows cash flows from investing activities if you recall with regard to machinery they sold machinery for 20000 and the sale proceeds of machinery 20000 is written as cash inflow they have done purchase of land and building yes please have a look at the problem again see the la land and building you find increase in the value of land and building amounted 140000 there is only one simple reason with regard to increase in a non current asset in this problems that is nothing but purchase of non current assets and that is what recorded here also as cash outflow under investing activities now you calculate the result of uh, investing activities it comes to 120000 that is nothing but cash used in investing activities please look at it once again 140000 negative figure 20000 is a uh, the positive that means inflow of cash so the net result is what 120000 is a cash used in investing activities then cash flows from financing activities loan from bank we have additionally borrowed 40000 rupees from the bank so that is nothing but cash inflow from financing activities what is this mrs williams loan of 1 lakh rupees has been repaid this is cash outflow in financing activities then drawing we calculated with regard to capital that is cash outflow through financing activities see these three items will appear here fine see loan from bank cash inflow repayment of mrs williams loan 1 lakh rupees cash outflow drawing 68000 rupees cash outflow the resultant figure is what 1 lakh 28000 is a cash used in financing activities if you add these three items minus 1 lakh 28000 minus 1 lakh 20000 then plus 2 lakh 36000 you get the answer of minus 12000 which is nothing but net decrease in cash and cash equivalents during the current year 2003 with that you add the opening cash and cash equivalents balance amount at 40000 what is the final figure you calculate 28000 rupees of positive figure you calculate which is nothing but the cash and cash equivalents at the end of the year so this is what about the idea behind this simple problem so this is a problem where you prepare cash flow statement for a sole proprietary concern i hope you understood my explanation i will come out with many more videos uh, with regard to the preparation of cash flow statement under indirect method as per accounting standard 3 we will meet in other video thanks for watching this video